If you've got a bunch of doors to paint, you could lay them out on sawhorses and paint them one at a time, but there's a better way. This is a tip from Don Mathis from Maycomb, Illinois. When Don has a bunch of doors to paint, he makes a door spinner, which allows him to rotate the doors so he can paint one side and then paint the other. He does it on a pair of sawhorses by putting uprights at both ends, and that's what holds up the door while he's painting it. The way this works is that Don takes a four inch screw and puts a, a little piece of uh, plastic tubing, 3 8 diameter plastic tubing as a bushing on uh, the, uh, the head of the screw and then sandwiches it between a couple of big washers. Now this gets run into a hole at the end of the door, which is centered, both ends, and this in turn is going to, to ride in a groove in our upright. Let's see if we can make this work. Nice. <laughs> the keys to this rig are a pair of sawhorses with uprights made out of half inch plywood screwed to the crossbars of each sawhorse. There is a notch in the top of each one of these uprights which accepts the axles that we've screwed into the ends of the doors. A two by four brace screwed to the tops of the sawhorses holds everything in alignment so that if it gets bumped it won't go out of alignment. To hold the door flat when you paint it, you've got to have some kind of a braking system. And what Don does is he runs another screw in three inches from the axle and he lets it stand a little bit proud of this upright. So that if you've got a brace handy, you can just uh, slip that right over the, the end of that screw, clamp it to the side of our upright and it stays where you want it. Great tip, Don. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>